Hi, today we're going to be learning how to play the F major grid. Uh, keep in mind I'm talking about two different keys, F major and D minor, but to keep it short, I'll just say F major grid, but you know what I'm talking about. Before we get started, go ahead and tune up ukulele, grab your music paper that says the grid scale pattern for the key of F major or D minor. Go ahead and do uh, those two things. Pause the tutorial, come on back, we'll get started in about a second. Okay, so you want to tune up your ukulele, very important to tune up your ukulele and uh, grab that piece of music so we can talk about it uh, and explain how to use it. Important to know your locations on the fretboard as marked on your paper. Look at the bottom of the fretboard, you see 3rd, 5th, 7th, etc. And then I said in the previous tutorial that it helps you out so that you can better locate the positioning of the fretboard going up and down. I put some markings on the top here, okay, third, uh, fifth, seventh, etc. And in the previous tutorial, I, I told you how to do that. Please refer to that if that's what you want to do to um, put on some markers on your fretboard. Okay, now, important. Hopefully, very important that you did all your exercises leading up to this. You have a strong command over the grid for F major and, and D minor, but a good understanding. If you don't have that, this lesson is going to be very confusing. Okay, so you don't have to have it perfect, but you got to at least have, have tried all the lessons, know what I'm talking about, the positions, uh, be able to play some of the positions, if not all the way up. Also, too, very important, you see at the bottom of the paper, that you have here at the bottom, the family of chords. Okay, you should have took a lot of notes in the previous lectures we talk about leading up to this. If not, this is gonna be confusing. So you should have a strong understanding, a strong grasp about the foundation for using this with this, okay? Because these two things work together to help you understand on how to use the grid and how to use the which chords in the family of course. Now, if necessary, and I highly recommend it, take notes, always take notes, because it's hard to remember everything just on the first try. Okay, now with that being said, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna show you basically how to play the major grid and I'm going to show you how to start off with a, just a basic pattern. And I'm just going to make something up, okay? So I'm going to go, uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm, my pattern is going to go C, D, F, G. Well, well, C, D, E, F, G, okay? So follow along on your music sheet, diagram. Don't play with me yet, just follow what I'm doing. So the pattern would go C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so if I play it like that, it kind of sounds like a scale, but if I mix it up, it sounds a little bit more like uh, a melodic line. So once again, let me, let me play it for you in sequence. Okay, so it sounds like a scale. I'll mix it up. By the way, when you see my finger move like that, that's a vibrato. It just sounds, it's a habit, but it, it makes it sound, the notes sound nicer. Okay, the point I'm trying to get at is that you're starting to mix up the notes and create and embellish how you're gonna do uh, the grid, which is based off the scales that we learned. And, and like I said earlier, a majority of the time is that we don't play scales. We don't play, when we're playing a mod line, we don't play scales, we play variations of the, of the scale. So that's a variation of the F major scale, okay? From the basic position. So now what I want to let you know is that I provided you with these blank grids and I want to encourage you to start making up your own patterns, no matter what it is, okay? So start making up your own patterns. So for instance, here's another one. For example, I'm gonna go C, D, E, F, and then just play around with those four notes. J, 
just these four notes, C, D, E, F. So it might go something like this. And you would write this down uh, on the blank grid in whatever notation that you would do. But this is just an example. So, so C, D, E, F, C, D, E, F. So I might go something like, something as basic as that doesn't have to be elaborate but you can see that it was just created out of these four notes okay so that's just an example to give you an idea now I'm gonna to talk to you about how the grid works with the family of chords and it's very important that you understood this in the previous lesson so that you can see how they both work in conjunction with each other so in other words the grid, the grid for F major works in conjunction with the family of chords and they work together and that's how you can play it and that's how you can create stuff and, and play your scales uh, and, and off the F major grid. Here we go, let me give you an example. And I'm gonna be using Roman numerals and hopefully you did your own work and you did your studying where it's gonna get a little confusing. Here we go, one chord, F, four chord, B flat, Five chord, five seven, C seven, back to the one. So I'm just playing the one four five chord in the key of F, okay, to give you just a basic idea to start you off. And then I'm gonna play some kind of melody out of the first position, F major. Here we go, first position. F chord one. Four chord. B flat, C7, 5, 7 I'm not going to do the same thing. First position may be a different melody line. Here we go. So you can see, I, I basically just stay in this first position and then I mix it up. Now I'll let you know that until I played it, I had no idea on what I was going to play. I just knew that in this position, all these notes work. Now you can take it a step further. If you're playing, let's say F, B flat, and C7, the one for five in the key of F major, basically all these notes will work. Now, depending on you, how much you practiced, how much you know, and how proficient you are on playing these notes will allow you to elaborate and expand more on what it is you want to do. Okay, now for example, let's see here. Uh, so I'm gonna jump to the one, two, I'm gonna jump to the third position, which is the uh, F um, major scale. Playing those same chords again. B flat, four. C7. I'm gonna jump to the F major scale on the fifth fret. Here we go. So I, what I did was I played only the notes in that F major scale in that bass position. Okay. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a second position off the D minor scale with it starting with the D. I played a D minor scale from the second position and as I only played the notes that we covered and it's on the fret fretboard okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in some other chords from the family of chords so follow along down here and hopefully that you understand the concept because the family of chords works with what I'm doing so one chord F four chord B flat 6 minor, D minor, 1 chord, F, 4 B flat, 6 chord, D minor, back to the 1, second position, D minor scale, Six minor, 
back to the one. First position to the second position, first string. So basically what I'm doing is, I'm, you know, at that, that time I just did these three notes right here, okay? Uh, I did an F major scale right in here, and I did a lot of stuff in the first, first position. Um, you can utilize uh, the notes going up, let's say, on the, on the um, second string, something like this. So you can see how it kind of works. So you get the idea. Now, like I said, the more that you know and understand about the fretboard, the more elaborate that you can go, go up and do more creative stuff. Now, so get started. Start creating your own melody lines, your own scale patterns on here. Write it down, make notes, be creative. Do whatever works for you and what you wanna, what you wanna experiment and try. Use your family of chords to understand that whatever you play in the family of chords in conjunction with your grid is going to work. So experiment. Some notes are going to sound more interesting than others, but they're all going to work. Now I know this may be a little overwhelming, but um, back up the tutorial, try it again, get the concept of uh, uh, the understanding of, of learning and in sections, then elaborating on it by adding on another section, then another section, but start small, learn some, learn some more, then start to connect different patterns or different lead lines or different notes. And if you did the lessons um, in order, getting up to this point, you should have a lot of information on what it is you wanna do it, uh, how to do it, why you're doing it, and etc. Now, if this lesson was confusing for you, you need to back up and then do the, Lessons again, maybe you went too fast. I realized that this could be overwhelming. Back it up, learn it in smaller sections, get the concept down, and then, well, when you're ready to move on to the next lesson, we shall see you there.